Good morning, everyone. This is my first video completely in English.、Um, I've always wanted to try this, and I'll see how it goes. But today,、um, so I'll give you a little bit of context.、Um, it's been a couple of weeks that I've been feeling kind of off myself.、Uh, I feel like I've been disconnected,、um, unmotivated, and I think it's very important to regain. That motivation that you know inspires you, and I'm not saying today I'm gonna get super inspired, but I feel like it's important. I haven't had one of those、uh, pampering me days.、Um, you know, I'm doing my internship, and during the week it's pretty hectic, pretty busy. I almost just come home to rest, eat dinner. And that's it. So today we're gonna start all my house, well, my room out.、Um, my room is not here. He's、um, at work, and yeah, we're gonna go to the supermarket to get some things to do our pampering thingies. And yeah, this is just me trying to spread、um, ways that people can. You know, look after themselves. I feel like when I I don't feel like myself 100, it's within my power to change that. I'm not waiting for anybody else to do that. To、um, I don't know, social media to inspire me or whatever. I just try to live every day at a time. And yeah,、um, if you're not feeling okay too, that's totally fine. That's okay. You have your own time, your your pace, and yeah. You have your own definition of self-love, of motivation, of、uh, body positivity. This is just me trying to、um, connect all the dots again and try to keep running as as happily and balanced as possible. So join me. I know the lighting is not super great here, but one of the things I want to mention in this vlog is it's all about self-care and self-love and shredding. Realness. <laughs> It's that I've been feeling my skin、um, weird. I've been feeling like、uh, it's not necessarily acne, but because I'm always using the face mask out there,、um, I feel like the heat is I don't know、um, making me have yeah maybe acne. I don't know, but it's making me I don't know. Like look at this. You see, this this wasn't here before, and I'm not eating bad. I mean, I'm、no, I am eating a lot of bread, but well, my my eye bags are always、um, popping, and that's not an issue for me anymore.、Um, it's okay. But this this area where the face mask covers,、um, it's really weird, and I know other people are going through this as well. But it's kind of.、Um, Uh, picks my <laughs> um, I don't know、uh, anxiety a little bit.、Um, I'm I'm trying to follow my skincare routine as as thorough as possible, but yeah, that's that was one thing that I wanted to to put out there. Like I'm showing this just to you not get used to seeing people all the time with. So much makeup, and obviously I love makeup, and it's totally okay. But it's okay to sometimes now that we don't see that often,、uh, or friends or family,、um, that you just kind of you know be aware that we're not always looking so good. So my、um, journey, let's say, it started actually last night. I put on the、uh, diffuser with the essential oils on it. And I think it's really useful to kind of get myself going through the night and sleep more <sighs> tranquil, if you can call it that way.、Um, shout out to my mom, love her for giving me this. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you real quick what I used to. So I've showed you before my nightstand.、Um, this is the brand that my parents、uh, got, and yeah. So you just put water. In here, up until the red、um, thingy over there, then just add the drops of the oil, and then you just oh, there you go. Then just turn it on, and you have different lining. 
he's super cute I love it but now it's off and already a lovely person got me this shout out to her and then over here I have all the essential oils and this is the oil <laughs> talking about oils <laughs> This is the oil that I've been putting in my face. It's from a Mexican brand and I'm so super happy to be incorporating more um, local Mexican brands in, into my everyday life. Um, yeah, it smells really good and I love it. I put it almost every night, except for the nights I feel so super tired. I don't even wash my face. I know that's bad, but I try to do it like six out of seven days of the week. And over here we have the let me find oh, obviously lavender is one of my favorites and it's running out but yeah we have some here love it Okay, so I just finished my workout. It took me longer than expected because when I was gonna change the song, I will enter to Instagram and see what you guys have um, sent me because you guys are very active on my DMs, which I love. And yeah, so it took me longer, just a little bit longer than the 35 minutes that I was kind of collecting. But um, now I'm gonna shower real quick and then I'm gonna have something for lunch slash breakfast because it's almost 2 p.m. here and then I'm gonna check some emails I was I was going through Instagram again uh, because I'm trying to uh, switch my you know personal products to more ethical and local made uh, product uh, basically I'm trying to reduce as much as waste as possible which is a lot to say uh, since there is not such thing as zero waste these days um, just trying to make a quick changes uh, small changes I mean that could actually make a, a big big a small impact on, on my daily basis and at least I know I'm trying to do something right to put my granito de arena as other people say in Spanish and yeah I'm I've tried a uh, deodorant that's um, made from like crushed mineral and crushed um, a certain type of mineral that's like a rock, it's a crystal rock I think and that's supposed to be uh, helpful for your uh, sweat smell but it really didn't help me uh, at all and I think it's because some of them I said they tell them 
like the regular rock and this one was like the pulverized rock and you have to uh, mix it with um, water and I think that was when the I don't know the, the actual effect got lost in between that process um, with the diluted water but yeah I'm not giving up yet um, hopefully I'll find one that meets my pH soon and yeah just wanted to put that out there thanks the cars because I feel like I live almost in the road but I, I don't I, I don't live in or on the road it's just very close to, to where I live in cars here are very loud <laughs> Desde que no puedan escuchar música porque copyright, voy a hacer mi rutina de skincare mientras les platico. Esta es la marca mexicana de cosméticos Tella Cosmetics. Eh, es así, me encanta su empaque. Para mí es muy importante el empaque del producto y es de vidrio. Está súper bien. Um, ya, yeah, es un bloqueador porque hay muchísimo sol y aunque no haya sol. Pues debo de poder, no siempre. Bloqueaders. Y me gusta porque, a pesar de que es muy blanco, no me deja la cara grasosa como los del supermercado. Entonces, me gusta mucho. Además, está hecho de, de ingredientes naturales y ayudan a reducir las ojeras. Which we appreciate. I completely forgot. Completely forgot what we're talking in English on this video. <laughs> Sorry, I was saying that I got a Mexican Fra, that's um, the name you heard before, and that I love it because it has ingredients that are um, mostly natural. I think I like an body percent of them. Uh, well, natural, which we pretend, and although it leaves my face quite uh, white, um, it absorbs all the all the nutrients and oils which we appreciate because my face is oily most of the time and here is a lot of sun and we always have to use uh, sunscreen which if you think about it it's always in English it's always sunscreen and in Spanish it's bloqueador which is like a blocker but it's, it doesn't actually block the sun it just it's like a screen that reflects back the sun. It's supposed to be that way so the sun doesn't like eat your skin or it damages it that badly. So yeah. Uh, it's supposed to help as well to minimize the dark circles under my eyes, which is great. We appreciate it. Although I've learned eventually 
to live with it. It was one of my biggest, and it still is one of my biggest insecurities. But now it's just part of me, part of who I am. Obviously, I put up, I've put ever since I can remember, I put all nighters, and this is due to them. So this is hustling, baby. So after I finish with my sunscreen, I go with uh, the Teya Cosmetics uh, mattifier or compact powder. The majority of the ingredients are natural and all the products are vegan and paraben free, which we love. So I'm just gonna open it. It's so cute. I love the colors that they choose to make the yeah the, the packaging. And when you open it, it's like a cork, uh, a cork. Um, I don't know how do you call this thingy. But then we have this in this way. So I'm just putting my finger here. You put it like this, and yeah, it's a little bit I had a eyelash blur like this. So I just powdery. It smells so good. It smells like baby powder, <laughs> and it makes me feel good because it has to do. It has to do a lot with what I'm putting in my body, and that I'm also helping by and local. Um, and yeah. So I'm just gonna finish here real quick and stop talking. But I wanted to mention that that is very important that you feel comfortable with your wearing and that you know who made whatever you're wearing. And I mean, I know sometimes it's difficult and hard, but it's worth giving it a try, right? Me encantó cuando la probé. Está chiquito el botecito, se pueden dar cuenta. Pero, pero esto, el color está hermoso y no pinta súper fuerte, pero tiene pigmento y me encanta. Es de marca La Ceiba y es Lip and Cheek Balm. Nada más lo calentamos un poquito con nuestro dedo y vean. Entonces aquí ya más, I go like this and I go like this. This is another Mexican brand, which basically. Um, sells only bombs, I guess, uh, but you can, they're called lip and cheek bombs, so you can use them for your cheeks and your lips. Amazing. Okay, probably looks like it's somebody hit me in my cheek, but because I wear the face mask, it always stays there, so I like to be a little bit extra. So yeah, I will normally curl my eyelashes and yeah, wear them super curled. But but today I want them to give them a rest, just to give them uh, a rest too. Yeah, basically. You can see. And I just like to put a little bit of here. So therefore it's not only lip and cheek, but you can call it everything in one. Or all in one. Like the hotels. All inclusive. Okay, so I'm gonna do my eyebrows next. Um, I'm running out of it, so I'm using this one. Here you go. So that's it. That makes it look good. But we like it. Sorry for the sound that the washing machine keeps doing, but the apartment is very small and yeah, everything, you can hear everything all the time. So that's basically it. Normally I would put like glitter under my eyes just to kind of keep it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna put it <laughs> Since this video is all about sports, um, supporting Mexican brands and local brands because I live in Mexico, but I will live somewhere else I would support 
the other brands. But this baby has to come in it. I just love the colors, love the decoration of the palette. Uh, beautiful, on my profile. I just love butterflies. Um, yeah, let's see what we got here. You all know it. If you don't, just Google it. It's the mm, metam metamorphosis. Metamorphosis? Metamorphosis? I don't know. Like this in English. But in Spanish, it's metamorphosis. And I love, I love this color right here. Hora de Oro, which is golden hour basically. But what I like to do with this one is just put it under my water. I think you put it under Okay, now we're ready. I just love the color it see. Isn't it beautiful? It's just like with the maroon color of my eyes, I think it pops out in my mind, obviously. If you can notice it, it's still really fine. And that's it. That's my very basic, normal, regular makeup routine when I don't have to go to work because um, when I go to work, they actually um, ask us to do our makeup a little bit more obvious and yeah whatever it's more corporate thingy but yeah that's it i feel like i'm protecting my skin i feel like i'm pumping it we love it and that's it